Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again with a full review of the Andobil magnetic vent mount for your phone. This clever product quickly attaches to any vent in your car or your truck, both vertical and horizontal, and provides the perfect secure location through magnetics to hold your phone while you're driving. It also allows you to rotate your phone 360 degrees into both a horizontal and vertical position, and with a few turns of the securing knob on the back, you can easily pop it off the vent and move it to another vehicle when needed. Now, before I get too deep into the review, I always like to start with an unboxing of a product just to show you everything that's included with the kit. And then I'll spend a few minutes and talk about the mount because there are a lot of vent mounts on the market, but what Andobil did was to sit down and think about how it attaches to the vent without damaging it and how you can actually attach the phone to the mount through magnetics. And I'll get into all that in a minute, but let's get started with the unboxing. When you first pop open the box, you'll find the mount. Now the mount's unique in a lot of different ways. There's a magnetic attachment on the top. And what's different about that from a lot of other mounts is they've used a lot of very powerful magnets. There are N55 magnets behind here that securely hold your phone, whether you've got a case or not have a case, and it includes two rings that you can actually attach to the case to improve that magnetic attraction. On the back, you'll find a clamping system right here that looks similar to other clamping systems on the market, but there's some key differences in here. The first one is, you'll notice there are little teeth on the back of this that secure that to the vent. So when you put it on the vent, those teeth keep it from slipping off. The other thing is, it's not just plastic. Even though the outside is high impact plastic, inside there, there's a metal framework which really makes that secure. A lot of other mounts in the market that use a plastic clamp, over time, especially in the heat of summer, they get a little bit sloppy and you'll get wobble on the mount. And the final thing that makes it unique are these two little wings that come off the back right here. And what those do is they actually push up against the vent, and as you tighten this, they pull it in tight against the back of the vent, providing an ultimately secure mount. And to tighten this, you'll just spin this little knob right here, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. But overall, it's a wonderful product. The last thing I did want to mention is the ball joint right here that allows you to rotate the phone and move it around. It's a nice, secure ball mount. A lot of these have a very sloppy ball mount on them, but over time, they start to wobble with the phone. This one has got a great feel to it. It's a lot of detent in there. It's a really heavy duty ball mount. So it's a phenomenally good mount. Also included with the kit is a small square that's magnetic. And you might be wondering what that's used for. Well, if you think about mounting your phone, Normally you're going to charge your phone in the car as well, so you've got a charging cable, and where does that end up? On the floor. And then you've got to go scrambling to find that cable. So Andabel thought about that, and they actually include this little square that's magnetic, and it's got a slit in the side of it, so you can push your cable through it, and there's a magnetic attachment on the back that it clips onto. So when you're in the car, put that on your charging cable, drape the cable over the top of this, and smack it on that magnet in the back. It'll always be right where you need it. So when you put your phone on the front, just pop the cable off, pull it around, and plug it into your phone. I thought that was a really nice touch. Also included is a uh, alcohol wipe if you want to use this to clean things up in the car. There are two magnetic rings because this does a really good job on the phone directly like that. So if you've got a phone without a case on it, it'll hold that phone incredibly securely. But if you've got a thick case like this one, you may not have enough magnetic attraction between this and the phone because of the thickness of the case. So you can attach these rings on the back, and those will attach actually to the magnet inside. There's a lot of manuals in here as well. So there's a full instruction manual right here. There's a quick start guide here. The quick start guide also has adjustment parameters for where you put these on the case. So if you want to line that up on different phones, whether it be an iPhone or other phones, you can see there are actual cutouts on here where you can put this on the back of the case and line it up perfectly. And they give you little sticky pads right here that'll hold it to the case. Finally, there's a warranty card included. So if you need to get a hold of the company with questions, all that's in there. All right, so let's talk about the mount a little bit more and then I'll show you how it mounts in the car. What I like so much about this, number one, is you've got this sort of carbon fiber finish on the front. It looks very professional, but the magnetic attraction of this is absolutely amazing. So this thing is gonna hold on like nobody's business because of those 25 N55 magnets inside there. It's powerful enough where when you're driving down the road, a lot of the mounts that are magnetically attached, the phone's gonna pop off there. With this one, it's not gonna come off, but if I need to pull it off, it comes off really easily. So I like that a lot. My case is a little bit thick to actually hold it on there. So with that case, I'm gonna use the rings, but without the case, it works just phenomenally well. Now, as far as the mount goes, like I'd mentioned before, the ball joint is something you need to pay attention to. A lot of the other kits on the market have a really flimsy ball joint, and that's important because if you're securely mounted to the vent and that ball joint is loose, it's gonna wobble all over the place and you're gonna have a hard time reading that phone. 
The mount though on the back is really what separates this from most of the other units on the market. And I've tested a lot of these, these vent clamps that are out there. A lot of them have sort of a clothesline or clothespin clamp on it where you hold it and you clamp it on there. And it seems to work okay when you first clamp it on, but over time it's gonna get really sloppy. It's also gonna scratch your venting and your louvers in the vent. With this one, you've got plastic on the inside. It's kind of a rubberized feeling on the inside as well, which adds to the security of it. But to tighten that, all you do is turn this knob. See how it's closing those little, those little clamps up top? and you tighten that down till it's secure on the vent, and it's not gonna move on you. It's gonna stay wherever you need it. But if you wanna move it to another car, you basically turn it a couple of times in the other direction, pop it off the vent, you can move it to the next car and it's gonna work just fine for you. All right, if you stay tuned next, I wanna show you how this mounts in the car because I know it's important to see exactly how you would attach it to your vents. And again, the best part about this is you can use it with vertical vents like this, I can also use it with horizontal vents like that. So if the louvers are horizontal, you'll spin it like that. If your louvers are vertical, spin it like that. But the clamp's gonna work just fine either way. All right, so stay tuned next. I'll take you outside, show you how it attaches to the car, and then I'll come back with some final thoughts. There are two major innovations with the Andovil mount that make it incredibly secure when you're actually mounting this to a venting system. The first has to do with the clamp on the back that will gently squeeze the vent louvers between those two jaws and hold it securely. The second is these two offsets right here that sit up against the front of the vents and actually tighten it against the vent. A lot of other systems have similar clamps or at least clamps on the back, but the problem is they wobble from side to side. With this one, because that vent will be up against this edge, as you tighten this, it pulls it in nice and tight against the vent louvers. Now, it's also nice that I can flip this if I need to. Right now, I've got horizontal louvers in my vent, but if you had vertical louvers, you could spin this vertically and clamp it just as well. And to use it on the vent, it's really simple. Just open it up nice and wide by spinning this knob right here, slide it over the vent, the position you want, and then tighten that knob. And as you slowly tighten the knob, those clamps in the back will close down on the vent and they'll pull it in tight against the outside of the vent. So don't tighten it too much, just enough where it's finger tight, and then you're ready to go. And you can see I can position this wherever I need to. I can move it down, move it up, whatever I need. Then the phone just basically attaches to it like that. And I can look at it in vertical mode. I can also spin it over in landscape mode. It just gives me a lot of flexibility. I can spin it towards the driver. I can spin it up if I need to. So the mount itself, and again, it's incredibly strong magnetically. It holds right to the phone there. Now I will warn you that if you have a case, it may not be strong enough to actually attach through the case to the magnets inside the phone. So in that case, you can use the metal ring on the outside of your case, which gives you a great magnetic attraction to the mount. But it's just that simple to mount it. And when you're done, if you wanna move it somewhere else, you can just spin that knob in the other direction until those jaws open up inside, pull it off the mount, and you're ready to go. Now, I've got other mounts over here that I use it with occasionally. What I like so much about it, though, is it's incredibly easy to move it from car to car. So if in my car, I can use it on the vents in my car, or I can take it to my wife's car if she happens to be driving for the next trip. So it's just that simple to install it in your car. Okay, I hope that demonstration was helpful. You can see just how easy it is to attach it to a vent. Now, I picked an end vent in the car, but I could put it on the middle vents. I could put it on a vertical surface in the back seat as well. That's the cool thing about it. It's a vent mount, but pretty much any surface you can clamp this to is gonna be perfect for mounting your phone. So if you're at your desk and you've got a little ledge someplace, you can tighten this on the ledge and you've got a perfect mount right there on your desktop if you're working from home during the day. So I think they've done a wonderful job. Again, the key differences are primarily the magnetic attraction. There are N55 magnets in there which is incredibly strong. It also has this really innovative clamp on the back that's got a plastic exterior, rubber panning on the inside, and metal framework inside that. So it's not gonna get sloppy over time like a lot of the other mounts. I really like this adjustment wheel on the back that tightens up those clamps. And then finally, for me, this ball in the center, this ball mount right here, just really makes the difference because I've got other clamp mounts that after a couple of weeks in the car with the heat, that gets really sloppy, and then the phone's sagging down. It's always leaning down on me, and I've got to pull it back up. With this one, I've been using it for a couple of weeks. It's just worked flawlessly. So I like it an awful lot, and I think you're going to like it as well. So thanks again for watching. I hope you found this review helpful. And until next time, as always, stay nerdy.